Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, when I was dead broke, man, I could not picture this. Hey guys, what's up? Today I've got a special video for you guys. I'm going to be going over my review for LaunchBox. Uh, and this, I'm going to tell you guys all about it right now, what LaunchBox is and why really I'm so excited about it. Well, LaunchBox is a front-end system that allows you to have all of your PC games and also emulated consoles in one organized place. Uh, now let me first off say I love Steam. I think it does a great job in helping me organize my PC games. However, I feel like LaunchBox kind of takes things to another level. So with LaunchBox, I can um, add the games and have the metadata, it searches for the metadata, um, whether it's game manuals uh, or gameplay information, it gives a brief synopsis on each game, what the game's all about, how many players, when did it come out, who published it. Uh, but also you have pictures, you have fan art that's mashed up and automatically downloaded. Recently I was able to dump some of my Wii games and GameCube games, and it's in my launch box right now, um, and, and now I can play with LaunchBox through the Dolphin emulator. I can play my GameCube games and my Wii games at, in 1080p. Um, now the developer of the game, Jason Carr, is with Unbroken Software. He's the creator of LaunchBox and he's actually made it very easy to play and organize all your games and have all of your games in one place, whether it's NES games or arcade games or Sega Genesis games or PlayStation 2 games, LaunchBox makes it just really easy to get started uh, within minutes. For a while, I've been kind of checking out different front end systems that are available. And I was really interested in the Hyperspin system because, you know, I thought it looked good, it looked like it could function well. I, I'm not kidding. I spent not just hours, but literally days in getting it functioning, getting, getting it working. And there's a lot of issues and things and workarounds that I, that I had to do and it was very, very frustrating. I feel like the average person would have a real challenge starting up Hyperspin and getting that started. And when I came across LaunchBox, I'm like, oh man, is this gonna take hours? Is, is this gonna take days to start up? Literally within minutes, I was able to add, start adding games and to start playing games. It was a totally, totally different experience. I was, I was thrilled. So with LaunchBox, um, there's different emulators that you can use, but I found that probably the most important uh, emulator or system that you can use in playing the old retro games uh, is RetroArch. Whether it's the Sega Genesis or Super Nintendo, uh, NES or Sega Saturn, on and on. I found around 90, maybe even more, 90% of the retro consoles out, out there can be easily played by using uh, RetroArch. Uh, and um, Jason from Unbroken Software recently did a really great tutorial video on how to get RetroArch up and going. And I, I highly recommend you, I'll leave a video, a link in the video description below that you guys can check out if you're interested um, in um, retro gaming, uh, emulated retro gaming. Uh, you know, I had mentioned how like it matches up the games that you have on your computer and then searches for the metadata and automatically downloads it. Uh, I wanted to kind of take things to uh, to the next level because it, it supports this. LaunchBox supports it. I ended up um, getting a uh, premium account with Emu Movies and was able to link it to LaunchBox. So not only are are um, you know uh, the box art and also the screenshots you know matching up to these games, uh, most of the games that I have. Uh, a video is matched up to a gameplay video, which is pretty nice. You've got the video description or the game description, uh, and you've got screenshots. You've got you've got of now gameplay, which is awesome. The only problem I found with though Emmy movies is that when far as far as the gameplay videos, most of the games in my PC collection unfortunately did not match up. But um, I was actually able to kind of find a workaround. I do have Shadow Play on my computer through my uh, NVIDIA graphics card. So I can just take a quick gameplay video for some of my favorite games and then just put it in the videos folder in my launch box for a particular game. And here's an example of a video I did for Street Fighter V. Easy operation. 
So right now you can download LaunchBox for free, compile your games, organize your games, uh, all of your emulated consoles, console games, and PC games uh, in one awesome looking place. Uh, LaunchBox also has a $20 premium version, uh, which you can load it up on as many computers as you want. It's, it's, there's no uh, DRM. Um, and it's something actually I highly recommend if you're into this. Uh, so it's a $20 premium uh, version, which it gives you access to all the updates for the coming year. Uh, and also with that premium uh, version, you will get to access Big Box. So Big Box not only lets you have access to all of your games that you have organized in LaunchBox, but also allows you to control your LaunchBox system while using a controller. Uh, I have my PC connected up to my TV uh, with through an HDMI connection, and I can view and play all of my games on the couch using my Xbox 360 controller, which which is which is amazing. So guys, overall, I've really, really enjoyed using uh, LaunchBox and also the Big Box program. It's it's a really amazing thing to be able to organize all my games, but also be able to have access to the descriptions of the games, game manuals, and also I have the option for gameplay videos to match up with the game, which is pretty awesome. Um, I, my only thing is I really wish MU Movies uh, you know, added more PC video support. I can, of course, add videos through my Shadow Play uh, on my graphics card, but it would be great to be able to have that option. But as far as LaunchBox and Big Box goes, Jason Carr with Broken Software is doing an amazing job. He is working around the clock to improve this front end system, guys. I'll include a link to their YouTube channel because actually they do a lot of different tutorials, whether you're interested in adding the TurboGrafx-16 to LaunchBox or Sega Genesis or uh, Sega Saturn or Nintendo 64. They've got dozens of tutorial videos on how to add these games and emulators to uh, the LaunchBox system. And definitely check out their channel, subscribe to their channel. Uh, again, they're working around the clock and check out the system when you get the chance. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.